Now, in the sport of football, height is really not as important as it is in other sports like basketball. However, today we're going to see just how big of a factor it is when we put everybody on a certain team based on how tall they are. Now, I know a lot of you guys play mutt, and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team. So if you want to just buy some training or coins or players, head on over to muttreserve.com. Use my code CK, and not only will you be rich one day, but you'll also get 15% off your order. Now we got to split up in four different categories. We have the 6'3 and higher because there were no 6'4 running backs. So that's the highest we could go. The 6'2 team, the 6'1 team, and then a 6 feet and under team because there was no D lineman shorter than 6 feet. So the 6 feet and under team is going to be on the Seattle Seahawks. They're 96 overall with a 99 offense and a 93 defense. The reason why we're in Seattle is because of Russell Wilson. He's going to be leading the way with Kyler and Tua as his backups. Run CMC. At a running back along with Nick Chubb, Dalvin Cook, and Alvin Kamara. A lot of great running backs are very short. Like, for instance, Kareem Hunt. But speaking of Hunt, if you're anything like me and you're too lazy to go out and learn how to hunt, look no further than Hunting Clash. It's a free-to-play game on iOS and Android. This is a game that I think a lot of you guys will like because it's a shooter. But there's so many different ways you can hunt your prey. With a wide choice of weapons, from sniper rifles to bows, and exciting gear like sonars and super buffs, you can go all over the world in so many different environments. We're talking snow. We're talking desert. We're talking woods, okay? There are so many different ways you can hunt the over 100 different animals from all over the world. Now, just take a look at this North American cougar. We all like cougars, right? Okay, some of us at least. Just wait. They don't know what's coming. You gotta creep up very slowly. You gotta hold your breath and then strike at the exact right moment. Oh, kill him. Oh, kill him. Oh. Now say, for instance, you want to go to Kamchatka. For years, you've always envisioned coming face to face with a brown bear. Well, now you can do it in hunting class. Take a look. We're in Kamchatka. And we see the bear and we snipe him with 71% precision. Now the goal is to be as precise as possible because there's gonna be opportunities for you to play against other people. Now, I know you guys are competitive, okay? We all are, let's be honest. So there are duels and challenges you can do to see where you stack up to other people. Maybe you challenge a friend. You go out, you try to hunt better than them. You're trying to hunt more than them. You increase your score to get to the top of the leaderboard and claim the title of the best hunter in your friend group. Not to mention the game will never get stale because there are events every single week to discover and play new adventures. You can download the game down in the description through the link to support the channel, man. I greatly appreciate it. And I promise you will not be disappointed by Hunting Clash. Same with wide receivers. We have Tyreek the Cheetah Hill, Stephon Diggs, Terry McLaurin, Tyler Lockett, Cole Beasley, Cooks, and Antonio Brown. Now, there were no tight ends at six feet or under, but we improvised. And we put Odell Beckham Jr., Robert Woods, and AJ Brown at tight end and might i say they're actually really freaking good at that position we're gonna ignore o-line for this challenge because all of them are like six three and taller so we just give every team really good o-linemen d-line it was tough because a lot of the best ones are, are you know pretty tall so we have a couple 70s at left end and dj jones and Jannard avery we move grady jared to right end he's an 87 and then d-tack we have michael pierce puna ford and mike daniels left out we have roquan and shakeen griffin mlb we have bobby wagner kendricks jayon brown and devin Bush robe we have Devin White and Matt Milano cornerback we were actually pretty blessed I was surprised Jair Alexander leading the way with Tredavious Marlon Humphrey Denzel Ward the Fuller brothers Byron big play slay safeties we have Devin McCourty Eddie Jackson the honey badger and of course Buda Baker kicker we have Jason Sanders and punter we have Corey Boyokres this is gonna be my team because I'm only 5'10 you know I'm considered short I'm doing the air quotes because I don't know why people call me sure it went we're literally above average but okay claim your team in the comments man let me know who you rock with based on your height now we're gonna look at the six feet one team it's a 97 overall 99 offense and 95 defense we're using them because the best six feet one quarterback is baker mayfield next up is jalen hurts as his backup running back we have joe mixon melvin gordon kenya drake wide receiver Devonte and nuke 299s then you have godwin and ridley with justin jefferson and gallup tight ends amari cooper leading the way with juju and sammy watkins on defense jerrell casey and ed oliver at left end aaron donald and andrew billings at right end brandon williams Derek Nottie, and gino at d tackle 
And then you have Hassan Reddick, Josh Bynes are left out. MLB got Levante, Deion Jones, Vince Williams, Miles Jack leading the way at Robe with Okereke and Eric Wilson. CBs, they had a 99 and Stefan. And Jalen, James Bradbury, Xavier, Carlton Davis, Pat Pete, Jesse Bates, and Minka at free safety. And then Jamal and Jaquiski at strong safety. Justin Tucker leading the way at kicker. And Sam at punter. Now, if you just so happen to be six foot two, this is going to be your squad, man. The Green Bay Packers, a 90 overall, 93 offense, 87 defense. You got Aaron Rodgers leading the way at quarterback with Lamar and Deshaun behind him. Cordero Patterson and Najee are the only two running backs. So even threw in a fullback in Derek Watt. Wide receivers, you got blessed with Keenan Allen, Allen Robinson, Thielen, Cooper Cup, Tyler Boyd, Marvin Jones, and CD. Tight ends, you have Jordan Reed, Trey Burton, and Irv Smith. On the D-line, you have Brandon Graham and Olivier. Right in, you have Melvin, Trey Flowers, Jerry Hughes. D-tackle, Javon Hargrave, and Maurice Hurst. The Maniac, along with Shaq Barrett at left out. Demario, Mosley, Evans at MLB. Carl Lawson, Alor Kuhn, and Harold Landry at Robe. Cornerbacks could have been better, but Jimmy Smith, Trayvon Mullen, Quentin Dunbar, Sertain, and Rasul leading the way. Bounce back at free safety with Justin Simmons, Monte Nicholson, Harrison the Hitman, Derwin James at strong safety, Graham Gano, and Brett Kern at punter. And if you just so happen to be 6'3 or taller, I hope you can dunk at least. But you have the Chiefs as your team. You guys are 94 overall, 96 offense, 93 defense. We're on the Chiefs because Patrick Mahomes is going to be leading the way. TB12 is behind him along with Josh Allen. Derrick Henry at a running back along with Latavius Murray. Julio at wide receiver with Michael Thomas, Mike Evans, DK, Robbie, and Kenny G. We have the top three tight ends with Kelsey, Kittle, and Waller. JJ, Bosa, Jordan, Daniil, all at left end. Along with Garrett, Cameron Hayward, Calais, and Bosa. A lot of the best D linemen are on this team. Fletcher, Chris Jones, Buckner, Kenny Clark, Khalil and Vaughn, along with Chandler, Fred Warner, Dante, TJ, Clowney, JPP, Chubb. But besides Sherman, they weren't that blessed at CB. They got Flowers, King, and Joan Williams. Jeremy Chin, Grant Delpit, Ronnie Harris, and Isaiah. Harrison Bucker at kicker and Johnny Hecker at punter. So we picked this one up in the fourth quarter. We got the six foot three team in Kansas City versus the six foot one team in Cleveland. Mahomes on second and six to the top of the screen. It's a first down. Now, if we're being honest, the Chiefs should be the heavy favorite to win this entire thing. Their team is just too stacked, especially their defense. They have the best front seven, best quarterback, and debatably the best running back. So it's no surprise to see them up 10. With the ball late in the game, Henry getting stopped short of the first down. Big third and two. Browns need to get off the field right here to have any chance in this game. Can they get to the quarterback? No, it's going to be another dump off and another first down. Ooh, Mahomes on a read option, keeping the ball. That was a little risky. Only 36 yards on nine rushes for Derrick Henry. But maybe that's because the pass game has been doing so much damage. Third down, another tackle, and they actually get the stop. Let's see if Baker has anything up his sleeve. First and 10, dropping back. Bottom of the screen, nice dot. Not a terrible stat line, low key. 156 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He could be doing a lot worse, is all I'm saying, okay? He's definitely doing his part. But I think I just jinxed him because he throws a pick on the very next play and a six foot one team is going to lose this game. And now we're looking at the six feet and under team, the Seahawks versus the six two Green Bay Packers led by Aaron Rodgers. They're down 10 in the fourth. Rogers gonna scramble, gonna barely get rid of it. Second and 10 now, quick release, getting them close to the first down. Not a bad stat line for Rogers. Two touchdowns, almost 300 yards, no interceptions. But he has to do a little bit more if his team's gonna win this one. He's gonna hand it off and they're gonna get the first down on the ground. Who would have thought that Cordero Patterson would have more yards in his first game than Derrick Henry? Granted, he had six more rushes up until this point. Look at these fast releases by Rodgers. Now they're going to the empty backfield. He has a lot of great wide receivers to work with, so I don't blame him. Look at that protection. Plenty of time. He's going to scramble outside the pocket, throw across his body, and it's dropped. Going to lead to a third and four. I'm going to guess it's going to be a blitz on the left side of the line, and it is. They pick it up. They get the first down, and now they're in field goal range. Clock is ticking. Last play before the two-minute warning. Rodgers... Three-step drop, gonna scramble, 
and throw an interception. Jair Alexander, the number one CB on a six feet and under team, making the biggest play of the game. So in the Super Bowl, we're gonna have the six feet and under team, the Seahawks, taking on a six three and taller team in the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of shocked, but the three turnovers is probably the reason why the six feet and under team is absolutely obliterating the six three and taller team. Run CMC only averaging two yards per carry, but that doesn't seem to be an issue. They're up seven. 17. If they keep the chains moving, it doesn't matter. Third and six, he's just going to throw it away. Oh my goodness, it's a fake. Why would you fake it? What are you doing, Pete Carroll? Now Mahomes and company have great field position. They're already across midfield. I don't know if that was the right play call. Mahomes dropping back over the middle. That was a close one. Mahomes barely getting rid of it to his running back, but he stays in bounds. The clock is going to keep on going to pick off a quarterback as good as Patch Mahomes. Not once, not twice. But three times is insane. That's what they've done today. And it looks like that's the reason why they're going to be victorious. Fourth and eight, last chance. They sent the house at him. Mahomes still gets rid of it in double coverage. And it's incomplete. So the six feet and under team is the best in the NFL, man. Shout out to all the short people out there. We just took a W, okay? Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, destroy the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I greatly appreciate it. And I also appreciate if you check out the link in the description. One more time, Hunting Clash is free to play on iOS and Android. I promise you won't regret it.